Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As it says on there, is it really worth the risk? And what I'm going to talk about is something that's very, very passionate to me and very dear to my heart, particularly since I arrived in the UAE. And it's all about child safety in cars. Now, in this room at the moment is somebody who came into this world just over 12 years ago. And she is by far the most precious person in the world to me. And that's my daughter. And I remember when she was coming home from hospital with myself and my wife the first day we brought her home as proud parents. And I remember spending about 15 minutes checking, double checking, triple checking, checking with the wife, and over and over again to make sure that she was safe in her car seat before her first journey in the big wide world. And as a parent, that's what you expect to be able to do. Your child is the most important thing in your life, and you have to keep them safe at all times. Just as a matter of interest, put your hand up in this room if you are scared of flying, or if you have a fear of flying, or you're slightly worried. Okay, a few of you. Did you know that in 2017, plane travel was the safest it has ever been? One fatal accident occurs in every 16 million flights. And last year alone, there was not a single fatality on any form of passenger jet flight. And some of us worry about getting on a plane. Is it safe? Couple that with 525 deaths on the road in the UAE alone last year. Okay, So just take in those figures a minute. One in 16 million flights compared to 525 deaths. 62% of infant mortality was caused in road traffic accidents. 62% last year. And out of that, that is the UAE's number one child mortality and infant mortality rate, traffic accidents. And out of that 62%, can anybody make a guess what percentage are actually in a car seat? Out of the 62%, how many of those children who are killed in road traffic accidents are actually in a car seat? Have a guess. Zero? No? Yeah. 2%. 2% are actually in a car seat. And that's quite staggering because surely, as a parent, as an adult, you have to take that responsibility for your child. You have to make sure they are safe in the, ch in the car. Because a child, particularly a child under four, for example, doesn't see the dangers that we do. There are no dangers through a child's eyes, but there are plenty of dangers through an adult's eyes. On the 1st of July 2017, there was a federal traffic law brought in. And that said that it was mandatory for under fours to be in a car seat. Now, if you are in a car or on a bus and you're traveling on the roads out in the UAE, how many times do we see the small child stood up in the car? How many times do we see the baby traveling on the adult's knee? And the adult's got the seatbelt on, but the baby's just sat there. What's going to happen if that driver has to stop suddenly and brake suddenly? Where is the child going to go? There is only one place they're going to go. They're going to go straight through the windscreen. And they're going to end up, unfortunately, at, at risk of losing their life. Because the first response from the parent will be to let go of the child. That's the first response if you're in an accident. They also brought in the law of one person, one seat. And one person, one seat belt. And the number of times I see it in this country, since I have arrived in August last year, where we have four or five children in the back of a three-seater car. So there's three seats in the back seat of the car, three seat belts, and five or six there. And you speak to people as a vice principal in a school, and anybody in school will tell, will tell you that when it's bus duty at the end of the day, I'm out there. I'm out there challenging parents. I'm out there challenging the general public about whether what they're doing is safe practice. And sometimes they smile and they laugh. And I put that down to a bit of embarrassment. But the next day you see the same people with the same number of children in the back of their cars and they are not safe. The other law that's come out recently is if you are under 10 or you are under 145 centimeters in height, you should not be in the front seat of a car. 
How many five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven year olds do we see? And how many little is? 145 centimeters is just short of four feet. Out there. How many smaller than that do we see in a car without a seat belt on? Did you know that wearing a safety belt reduces the risk of deaths by 40 to 65% in adults? 80% in children. So you have an 80% chance of surviving an RTA as a child if you have a seatbelt on. Fines. 400 dirham fine and four black points. That's what some people are facing if the law is enforced on a regular basis. But 400 dirhams to some people, it's not, not even worth worrying about. 400 dirhams to others is a lot. There was a survey done in February 2017 about the use of car seats in cars. 29% said it was too expensive to buy one. 29% of those surveyed. 28%, and just take this one in, 28% said that their children didn't like being strapped in. They didn't like to sit down in the car. And 15% said that I'm a safe driver. I'm a safe driver. Doesn't matter how safe you are. It really doesn't matter. Is it really worth the risk? Thank you.